Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me. Scorpio, I'm doing your end of May readings. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for your love spread. Then I'm going to do just the regular uh, spread for your career and finances. So let's get going. I think I'm going to do a little bit different here. Sorry, my nail. <laughs> With your Celtic cross before I start that, I just want to do a because you guys are last Scorpio, so I'm going to do a little something special for you. You guys are my last sign I'm doing, and you guys are my moon, or my rising sign, so, yeah. I fucks with you. Let me see. Ooh, your dreams need a practical plan, okay. Have faith in your dreams. It's time to release negativity. Okay. So I don't know what's going on with you, Scorpio, but it's time to release negativity. It's time for your dreams to have a practical plan. So whatever you're dreaming about, you need to come up with a plan of action to make it happen. Don't stop dreaming. Have faith in it, but you still need a practical plan. All right. Let me do your love spread. I'm going to keep those cards right there. Hey, look, and it's in Scorpio. Full moon in Scorpio. Ain't that great? Release negativity. It's time. So if you have your sun, moon, rising, or Venus and Scorpio, this could resonate with you. But please keep in mind that this is a general message for the collective of all the Scorpios in the world. So every little detail might not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Share this with another Scorpio if you feel like it might resonate more with them. And look at your other placements, your uh, moon, rising, or Venus even Jupiter or Mars. Also keep in mind, uh, if you look up your birth chart, you can check out your Mercury uh, sign to see what's going on before you in the retrograde that's coming up at the end of the month, which we are in the shadow period at this time, and I am definitely feeling it. I can't talk right to save my life on any of these videos, so bear with me. All right, let me see how Scorpio is, what's going on with Scorpio in this love situation. Woo, you might be juggling more than one person here, Scorpio. What are you doing? What are you doing? This could be if you're single or in a relationship. I haven't specified, but just take what resonates. Oh, what's crossing you is the Ten of Swords. You might be juggling because you feel like somebody's backstabbed you or betrayed you. And so now you're like, wait a minute. I don't feel like this is you making a decision at all, though. I feel like this is you just balancing two different people or a couple different people. Show me the foundation here. Ooh, death. Taurus just got this twice. Something's coming to an ending or transforming in a relationship or a partnership or a connection that you're interested in. This could be for the good or it could be for the bad. Show me the recent past. For Scorpio. Somebody has made you a love offer in the past or somebody came to apologize to you in the past for maybe hurting you, betraying you. What's crowning the spread? The Queen of Cups. You are very sensitive right now, Scorpio, but then again, you are a water sign, so you would be. Show me the near future. The Queen of Swords, oh, you ready to cut a mother off. <laughs> you ready to use that sword, huh? You took one of them swords out your back and now you're finna sever ties with somebody. That could be what's ending. But in the meantime, you're juggling. Show me how Scorpio's viewing themselves. Show me how Scorpio, if I misspeak or say the wrong sign or even read the wrong card, you guys have to bear with me because of this Mercury retrograde is kicking my three of cups. I was about to say three of swords. Three of cups. Yeah, so you definitely have a third party situation happening here. I don't know if somebody put you in a third party situation or you put somebody in a third party situation, but somebody's apologizing here in the past for it and somebody's uh, feeling it. And since it's your challenge, the ten of swords, I don't know. Let me get some more clarification here. How is, what's the environment around Scorpio? How are others dealing Scorpio? The emperor. Oh, somebody think that you got all the control over this situation. You ran stuff. 
Is your way or the highway? <laughs> I ain't even mad at you, Scorpio. You want to work towards this, or you're scared that your partner doesn't want to work on this. You're fearful that somebody is being sneaky in this situation and that they're not going to want to work on it. Or they found out you were being sneaky in this situation and now you're not sure if they want to work on it. What's the outcome? The moon. Yeah, it's about to be revealed what's going to happen here. Some secrets are coming to light. You are probably getting ready to cut somebody off or somebody's going to get ready to cut you off because of what sneaky shit came out in the wash over here your fears some third party situation some betrayal somebody was juggling look scorpio you know what's going on i just heard shaggy i miss the love a lover <laughs> they call me mr bombastic y'all know i'm old <laughs> <laughs> All right, show me the two of pentacles for Scorpio. Woo, you were happy. Maybe you were happy juggling. I don't know. Something was making you emotionally happy until somebody got betrayed. Or until somebody found out you were juggling. I still can't figure out which one you are, Scorpio. I can't wrap my mind around it right this second. Yeah, somebody found out and now they're hurt. Or somebody is going to be finding out that you were juggling and they're going to be hurt. They're checking on you. They're spying on you. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Something's changed. Show me a page of cups. I'm feeling that tit for tat again. Yeah, there was some fighting going on in the past, some type of competition that somebody had you in or you had somebody in. And they might have apologized for this situation. Show me death. Woo, the devil. Yes, there was definitely some toxic shit happening here. Some obsession, some type of drama some type of addiction really feel like some type of manipulation was happening here somebody was lying this created a fight now somebody wanted to apologize but now i feel like you don't want to hear it because you're hurt and now you're juggling people with this person tip for tap y'all going back and forth hurting each other show me the queen of cups yeah but somebody's gonna put this burden down somebody's gonna drop this burden and cut somebody off because i think the queen of swords over here realized like look this ain't worth my time no more i'm not gonna play these games i'm not so y'all might have been hurting each other back and forth with uh third party situations now you have the nine of cups. Yeah, you're cutting somebody off because you want to be by yourself now. You better be, you feel like you're better being by, no, that's not that card. I'm sorry, that's the nine of pentacles. You're cutting somebody off because you want your wish fulfillment. You thought you had it with this person, but you were happy at one point, but then all this stuff happened. But in the near future, I feel like you're going to be ending that and you're finding something else that you want here. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody was being a player. And this is coming up on you, Scorpio. So, yeah. I feel like you might have been juggling somebody. But I don't know if you were just juggling this these people because somebody else had juggled you. And now you're getting get back. That's what I'm feeling like. Y'all are fighting too much in the past over here. And somebody's trying to ap have apologize. Show me the Emperor. Y'all are making my head hurt with these loves. I'm so glad this is the last sign. Woo! The chariot. Yeah, I feel like you're moving away from this. You're taking control of this situation and moving away from it because it's toxic as fuck. 
and I'm just gonna be honest. People betraying people, people backstabbing, people lying, thieving. It's all kind of stuff going on over here. Show me the three of pentacles and the seven of swords. You got the king of pentacles. So whatever masculine energy is in this situation, the masculine energy wanted commitment and stability. The feminine energy might have been being a player. And I'm just going to say that. So if you're a feminine Scorpio watching this video, then you're the one who was juggling, which that's what you're showing up here as, and that's what you're seeing yourself here as. If you're the masculine energy here, you could have been juggling too. Whoever is watching this, you were juggling. Scorpio, you were juggling. I don't feel like it was the other person. that Y'all might have been just going back and forth. This is crazy. This is so immature. Show me the moon. The queen of wands. Yeah, somebody's uh, feeling like they super soaker sexy here. <laughs> and they are being assertive about that now. Somebody might have tried to make you feel that's like you wasn't. And now you're getting your wish like, nope, I am. I know who I am. Whew, let me get these romance angels, Lord. This is exhausting. You guys are very exhausting me. Very much so. Okay, Scorpio. Although I can, you know, never mind. <laughs> yeah, the set codependency, yes. Deception, yes. All of this, all of that was going on. Let go of control issues. So whoever was this emperor over here, they were trying to run the whole show, going back and forward. No, this is unhealthy. Yeah, somebody's freeing themselves from this situation and moving on. And somebody definitely has trust issues here. I say throw the whole relationship in the garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny. That's not funny. It is funny to me. But it might not be funny to you in your situation. But Scorpio, what is going on? Throw the whole relationship in the garbage. Just leave it. Just leave it. Uh-uh. I'm done. Let's look on your finances and career because, whoo, whoo, that just took some life out of me. I don't understand. All I feel is fighting, 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 fighting. That's all I feel. All right, let's do a quick spread for your career and finance. What that money looking like? I'm taking a nap after this because, woo, this is draining. The Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're starting something new. All right, let's see what your finances and career and finances is looking like. Show me Scorpio. Okay, Nine of Cups. Everything's in alignment for you right now. You're exactly where you want to be financially. You ain't got no worries. Queen of Pentacles, what did I say? You ain't got no worries. You're stable. You're doing your thing. You're putting money exactly where it needs to be put. Stability. The Ten of Wands, but you did have a burden here in the past or you're going to have one coming up here in the future. Some type of situation you're going to have to deal with here financially. What else? King Knight of Wands. Hmm. But I feel like you're going to be able to get past it. You're going to have to really put in the work and effort, though. But I feel like you're passionate enough to do that. So, yeah, there might be a burden coming up. But in the past right here, I'm seeing that you're doing, that you have been doing pretty well with your finances. Yeah, justice is being served here. 
So some type of karmic situation is playing out with your finances, but everything's going to be balanced out after this burden is taken care of. Yeah, you're going to learn some type of information that's going to help you get through this burden. Ooh, the five of wands. Uh, somebody might be trying to sue you or take some money from you or you might owe somebody some money. Somebody feels like you owe them some money. You might be being defensive at work. Oh, yeah. You might have done something at work that you might be getting reprimanded for. This is a burden. I don't think that you're going to get fired, though, but it's causing some drama. <gasps> Look, it's time to release negativity, Scorpio. It is definitely time to release it. Yeah, yeah this one was in the deck, too. You're starting something new. When I did the cut, you're starting something new. You're looking into starting something new. You might be looking at new jobs or new streams of incomes. You got the king and queen of pentacles on the deck. You're coming into alignment with what is meant for you. But I don't feel like it's without a struggle here. high priestess yeah you're moving into something that's right for you you might have made some type of mistake here in the past going in the wrong direction or you did something that you got in trouble for but now everything is back on track you might have had too much of a workload too or this could have just been some type of uh, financial setback that you found out how to deal with it and you dealt with it and now you're using your intuition more to figure out how to move forward Scorpio I don't even know what I'm saying no more I'm so exhausted y'all have to forgive me let me clarify this um, high priestess because yeah the ten of cups You're coming into a direct alignment with what you need, Six of Cups. Yeah, there might have been something in the past that you that was burdening you about your work, but it's coming, like it's being set right now. There could have been like some type of mess up on your paycheck. But I feel like this was something that you caused at work, some type of misunderstanding that happened at work. You might have gotten written up or something. I don't know. Somebody might have been being childish or goofing off at work or got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing at work. Being on their phone or something. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But everything's going to be all right. I feel that. I really do. It just could have been like those minor setbacks. Could have been a bill you forgot to pay here. Take it as it resonates, Scorpio. I really hope that, well, let me get your angel answers before I close out the video. But if, like I was about to say, I really hope this resonated with you. And if it did, hit that like button. Please, you guys don't know how much that helps me out. Comment down below. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. not the right time so you might have been planning to do something at work or take or do something to yeah something to do at work it's not the right time yet forgiveness somebody might have been talking shit about you at work trying to get you in trouble the situation will improve I already said that recovery yeah, so you could have had like some type of little slip up at work. Might have got reprimanded a little bit, but everything's going to be fine, as I already said. But thank you, my God, Spirit, Universal Energies, for having my back with my messages. I really appreciate that. I am so grateful, you guys. Hit that like button on your way out. And I hope you guys will come and see me again soon.